If you don't enjoy being asked every five minutes what you caught, mate, Garrison Point might appeal to you. Lying at the end of the coastal path means there's no great passing traffic of walkers. The 10 minutes with tackle from the car park will also put off some anglers. So all in all, a less busy mop than back in town. The point also offers the deepest water you can fish into from the Sheppey beaches. If you can drop a cast this side of the jetty, the chart shows you're in at least five metres of water. The local club, Sheerness Steel, state most of the usual suspects get caught here. Codling, whiting, doggies, flounders, sole eels, and being a shallow storm beach, bass are a very good possibility. If another angler is already here and you set up around 150 yards short of the point when the water's up, be aware submerged in front of you is what surely must be Kent's longest groin. Look for the yellow buoy that marks the end of it to make sure you're clear. For those not keen on the 10 minute walk, our next mark is back where we parked the car in Sheerness Town Centre. Two car parks next to the sea wall makes fishing in the town centre convenient. And for those that can't do stairs, the car park in Beach Street has a ramp up to the prom. The railings, 150 yards from the ramp and next to the Tesco stairs, is a good spot to head for. Room to stow the gear away from passers-by, somewhere to rest the rods on and clean ground in front. If you start fishing near high tide, the water will be up by the steps and you won't see all the groins. Space between them is really tight, but if you fish from the railings, to the right it's groin free, all the way back to the Beach Street ramp. From up here we can see our next mark, the Ship on Shore and Barton's Point area. Sheerness Steel documents this mark as producing in summer skate, flounders, bass, eels, mullet, sole doggies and the occasional smooth hound. In winter, pout, codling, whiting, dabs, doggies, bass, rockling, flounders and sole. A wide variety of species then, making this a popular mark amongst the locals. You've also got clean ground to the left and in front, but have the option of moving to the rougher ground on your right and towards Barton's Point. Leaving the hard industrial edge of Sheerness behind us now, we move to slightly more scenic surroundings, just a mile down the road at Minster-on-Sea. <laughs> 